Amanda here from createyourfuture.co. So you guys asked and we've listened. So we've gotten emails, quite a bit of them asking to basically email them when um, there, we have a sale or a you know, a, cor a course is launched by a coach or live meditations get started up again. So we have listened, we have created a mailing list. The link is in the description below. Please sign up for it if you'd like to get discounts on our coaching, find out when a, a, a coach launches a bundle, puts a sale on a course, you know, launches a new course or starts, um, you know, offering live meditations, all these things, we're going to be emailing that list, okay? Of course, we'll also mention it on the YouTube channel like usual, but you'll be the first to know on that mailing list. So guys, thank you so much for being here. And we intend that each and every one of you guys manifest your desire. And remember, you guys are perfect. Each and every one of you is perfect and you deserve what you want to create and you are powerful and you can create it. So without further ado, enjoy the coach's video. Hey guys, it's Ani. Happy, happy Friday. I am so happy to share this video with you. I think it's going to help so many of you. Um, so many things have been happening, like so many amazing success stories with clients, all of you guys doing the courses, like thank you so much for sending in all that beautiful, beautiful feedback. I'm so happy. Um, the self-concept course, the bundle courses, the money courses, they're all like changing your lives. So that was the whole intention. Um, so I'm so happy for you guys sharing that feedback. And if I have not read your feedback yet or success story yet, I will get to it. There's a lot um, in line, but this is going to be a good video, you guys. I hope everyone's having an amazing day so far. And if you're not, anything can change in any minute. Trust me, so much of that has been happening lately in my life as well. Like just quick shifts, big breakthroughs happening and it can happen any minute. So I intend that this video um, is going to be one you resonate with and you feel good after watching it and you just see breakthroughs after it. I'm going to uh, share a success story with you guys, um, but I want you to stick around if you've been feeling like everything's stagnant or you've been feeling like you're not really getting any evidence in whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, even if like even if you're feeling like rock bottom, like you don't even know how to feel anymore or think anymore, this video is for you, okay? All right, you guys, let's get into the success story. My beautiful client sent in. All right, this client is a client that I meet with on one-on-ones, but she also has done courses as well, which in another video I shared how much it helped her with her getting evidence and feedback, but let's get into it, you guys. Dear Ani, I can't believe I'm writing this email to you. As you know, it was my daughter's birthday over the weekend and I had a party for her. I had so much anxiety because I really want, wanted my specific person to come and share the special day with our daughter. Previously, he would never turn up. Well, my daughter's birthday was everything I wanted to be and more. He was so involved with the planning and he turned up at the party. He, We took a picture together as a family with our daughter in the middle and Ani, let me tell you, since our child was born three years ago, we've never taken a picture together. That was the last time we took a picture together. So this to me was a huge capital, <laughs> capital H-U-G-E-E-E-E-E. -E -E -E. Ani, my heart is so full and I am so grateful for how far I've come with my specific person. You have been amazing and supportive on this journey with me. My specific person is conforming every day and I am seeing so much movement. It's getting better and better each and every day. Girl, I can't wait to keep updating you on our success. Much love. This is why I love doing what I do. This is why. Because, and I want you guys to pay attention. For those of you watching, this person came to me this beautiful, beautiful client of mine came to me down and out, lost, 
there were so many third parties in her mix in in the story there was disappointments like she said three years this child is three years the only time they took a family photo was when baby girl was born and she switched up so much she's turned around so many things and i just want you guys to know if you feel down or you feel like nothing's gonna work and this is not only just because for a specific person like please like whatever you guys watch me share you know it's not just applied to a specific person as you guys know like money and abundance all if you've seen my um videos I apply the same um, principles to money and abundance and it keeps flowing in. My clients keep applying the same principles to money and abundance and it keeps flowing and flowing and flowing in. So the principles can be applied to any department of your life. But if you feel down, if you feel like giving up, if you feel like nothing's working, I want you to know the bad thing you're going through right now that seems like this will never end, this will never pass, you've never experienced such a bad version of this. If you're going through anything like that, understand that this bump in the road is leading you to your breakthrough. Because I've had those bumps in the road, my clients have had those bumps in the road, and what you make of it, what you transmute this energy into going forward is in your hands. It's in your hands. And I'm so passionate today about like this talk, this, I don't know, like I'm so passionate because I've been recently experiencing so much movement in my life, so much positive move movement with people, with everything, every department where First, it felt like it's going to take a while. And then you start really identifying like your power, your thought patterns. You start understanding, hey, this is not even, this is not an issue between me and this person. This issue is between me and the thoughts I have of this person. This is an issue with me and my thoughts, my assumptions, my beliefs, my way of thinking. It's never about that other person, even if they show up and it feels like it is it feels like so much this is their issue this is their characteristics this is all them coming on me it's literally the way you think of them the characteristics you know of them is what's creating them coming towards you in that way okay and i talk about this much deeper in my courses if you guys are interested in like like a guided course with homework those are there. Links are going to be in the description box down below. Our website, go to Ani's courses. You guys can check out all of it. You don't have to. Like, just listening to free content, all this information, it's, it's all there, you guys. But I know it can be hard sometimes to bring yourself back into a stable state to bring yourself back into calm, to bring yourself back into neutral, when you're spiraling, when you're like, OMG, this person isn't showing up the way I want. My boss isn't showing up the way I want. The money's not showing up the way I want. The luxury vacations are not showing up. Like, I know how stressful it can be, but you can get out of it. Allow it to flow gently out of your experience you will come back into a neutral natural state and you will come back into your power stop trying to push up against and resist what is going on in your current reality because trying to hide from it trying to push it under the rug trying to like um really ignore it all of these things are just you ignoring your thought patterns and the triggers coming up those triggers are gold those that feedback you're getting from everyone in your reality, the, the thoughts coming up, the Karen talking in your head, like, oh, you, you're not chosen, you're not wanted, all these things, gold. For you to literally sit and observe, hmm, look at what's coming up right now. Do I want this to be dominant internally within me? No, I don't. I do not. How do I change what's currently dominant in me? Well, first, I need to identify what's going on. And if you try to suppress it and push it away, you, it's only going to come back later. Like you're not dealing with it. 
when you deal with it, when you observe instead of absorb and spiral 24 seven, which I know it's sometimes it's uncontrollable, you're not doing it on purpose. But when you just observe what's going on within, take that feedback as gold, you know how to go forward with the new thoughts and the new story. Think of it this way. Let's say you're playing a game, you're playing chess, or you're playing poker, or you're playing any game, right? When the other opponent, the person you're playing against, is telling you feedback, is telling you how they think, is, tell, is showing you what's going on in them, that's gold. That's like you know what to do now with this, right? Rather than being in being in the dark. Like everything's in front of your face. Everything's in front of your nose. You just got to pay attention. You got to pay attention to what's coming up, the feedback. And at first it's 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 difficult because you're you're not used to like, oh, let me take this as feedback, right? From this person or from this department of my life or from health or from boss or from money. At first you're not like oh, you know what, this was a beautiful conversation I just had with you, this disagreement, this argument, this whatever. Um, I will take this as feedback. You don't do that at first because you're still getting to know your power. You're still getting to know, like, people are a reflection. They're showing you constantly what's going on internally within. So first, you got to get used to it. At first, you may take it, like, offensive. You may you you may constantly see people as separate than you i want you to make it a habit within you that no one is separate than me it may feel like they are but they're not they will literally word for word show you the assumptions you have of them word for word like when my sp used to show me word for word how i felt and believed about myself in our relationship I used to be like, oh my God, what the hell? How can I change this person? What's going to happen? This person will never change. They're such a bad version, such a player, such this, such that. And then I was like, once I started getting the hang of law of assumption and everyone's me pushed out, I was like, why would you literally separate that person from yourself? They're showing you exactly what you think of them. Change it. Change what you think inside first. What are they thinking of you? Do I need evidence of it to believe it? No, you don't. Do you need evidence to think anything? No. Most of the time, you're thinking of stuff because of the evidence that's shown up in your life, right? But do you need things to be happening in order to create more of it? No, you can literally imagine. You can imagine something into existence. That's why you have an imagination. So if you are going through a version of this person that you don't desire, you desire a better version, number one, never separate themselves from you and take things personal. They're not trying to hurt you. They're just trying to show you what's dominant within. Even if you've been changing the story within and they're still showing old behavior, doesn't matter. That will fizzle out. That will fizzle out. Do you guys remember the video I had with the cup? And when you're trying to pour something new into the cup, like a new um, reality, you're trying to uh, you're trying to dominate your current feelings, emotions, thoughts with this new reality. So you're like pouring, pouring, pouring. You're pouring into yourself with the thoughts and all of it, right? But what will pour out first if you're pouring something new in? Let's say you're pouring like um, Coca-Cola into this, right? When you pour it in, obviously the coffee is going to overflow first. So that undesired version you had of this person is going to overflow because you've been beating the drum of that for so long. And then the new Coca-Cola will overflow, the new story. So don't be discouraged if you're seeing old movement from sp or boss or whoever it'll fizzle out but what are you doing with your now time with your now moment right also like i mentioned previously 
you have an imagination for a reason. I say this in almost every one of my videos because I had to remind myself of this many, 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 many times when I was recreating my SP, which is just amazing now, like com complete night and day. So if you're trying to recreate anybody or you're trying to change the reality to a better experience with a specific person or anyone or anything or even money, you do not have to have had that experience prior and go back to that old thought of, oh my God, remember when they were treating me well, let me be beat the drum of that. You can, but let's say you haven't had the best version of them. Let's say you haven't had the desired version that you want that's going up in here, out there, right? Guess what? If you beat the drum of that imagine, imagine pretend version, it has to show up out there because that's just how it works. This first, thoughts first, visions first, imaginations first, visualizations first, assumptions first, and then you can use your eyes to see the changed, beautiful version coming through. What we usually do is we use our eyes first. Where is it? I cannot see it. I cannot see it. Where is it? If I don't see it, I'm going to trip out. I'm going to spiral because I don't see what I've been affirming for. I don't see what I've been imagining. I don't see what I've been visualizing. I don't see who I've had inner conversations with. Where is it? I'm going to trip out. That's what usually we do, and that is wrong. You got to go in here first, 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 beat the drum, beat the drum, beat the drum, like a song on repeat. You like a song, a new song, right? And you're like, damn, this song's really like, I'm going to be playing this song on repeat all day, right? Because it makes you feel so freaking good. Your new version of this person or of the reality you want going forward has to be on repeat until it shows up. And the middle is sometimes hard guilty felt it felt things on my skin so much like seeing things that have triggered me so much but you keep going because just like this client sharing her success and she's been sharing multiple success stories a lot lately and she will continue to share more success stories but you will get through this. Sometimes there will be bumps in the road. Sometimes you will be thinking that you took a complete 180 turn and you're never going to be able to get back to that better state, better feeling. You will get there. Just remember, eye on the prize, light at the end of the tunnel. This is you versus your thoughts of people. This is you versus your thoughts of yourself. This is not you versus another person. That other person is literally a character standing, waiting for it to behave towards the assumptions you have of them. They look very real. They look very in control. They look like they all have their own opinions, thoughts, their free will. It looks like that. But your assumptions of them, thought transmission, sending it out, planting the seed in their brain, and they're like, ding, 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 ding. I need to act this certain way with this certain person. Next time, I'm going to act this way with this person because I keep getting these thoughts and feelings and emotions that I need to act this way with that person. And for those of you that have been manifesting a different version of anyone, you've probably noticed, you've probably got feedback and they've said like, I didn't know why I acted that way with you. I don't know why I'm loving you so much lately. I don't know why I'm showing up for you so much. I don't know why I behave that way. I'm so sorry I behave that way. You don't know why because I am the one assuming for you to do things. And this is not manipulation. They are not puppets. It's literally perception affects atoms to behave in different ways. This is science, quantum reality, quantum physics. Check out the double slit theory. I don't think it's a theory anymore. I think it's actually proven that your perception of an atom will cause the atom to behave in a different way. So what does that mean? 
atoms are also people. You are literally trillions and billions and infinite number of atoms vibrating at a certain frequency, fre ugh, frequency where you look solid. You look solid. You look solid. You look solid. But you're just vibrating. A bunch of atoms are vibrating. What does that mean? So is your specific person. So if there is a proven scientific fact that my perception can affect one atom, my perception can also affect a body of atoms. And I know this very well, not only from personal experience with a specific person, not only with personal experience from constant abundance flowing in left and right, but I also know this from healing, healing family members. Them being in certain conditions where I switched around, where even the doctors and the nurses were like, he'll, he'll never switch, he'll never get better. Like, this is a really hard case. So your perception of one atom, your perception of a billion atoms in a body, same thing, same effect, okay? I love each and every one of you guys. I want to hear everyone be a success story, and you will be. You may feel like I am talking to a whole crowd and audience, but every single person watching this, this is for you like personally for you. And if you feel that, I want you to comment down below because every time I share, I'm getting like emotional talking about it. Every time I share a success story or I'm this passionate about a video, I cannot tell you how many times people in the comments are like, I literally was going through this. I literally was thinking this. I literally was feeling this. And you came at the right time on me. So this video is for you. Do not give up because you are a freaking God of your reality. And I cannot tell you how many times I've wanted to give up, but a moment later breakthrough happens. A moment later, huge evidence comes in. SPs coming in. They are you pushed out. All they want is unconditional love and the best assumptions of them so they can show up for you because you wouldn't have the desire in the first place if that reality wasn't able to be experienced by you, okay? You guys, I love you. If you are interested in any of my courses, so many people have been sharing beautiful, 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 beautiful feedback. If you are interested in any of the feedback, reading the feedback, watching the success stories, all of that is going to be in my playlist on YouTube, go to playlists on our channel, go down to Ani, you can watch all the videos, it's all free. You don't need to buy anything. If you do wanna buy something with, that has homework, that's gonna give you a routine, that's gonna keep you disciplined, courses are there. Go to our website, uh, Ani's courses, all there. If you guys have any questions, email us. Our beautiful team is gonna be happy to help. Also, if you want one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, I have been booked up like crazy but so many of you are manifesting spots like this from being on the wait list so i intend each and every one of you resonate with this video and this just brings you so much so much so much power within and you remember who the heck you are and how powerful you are and i will see you in the next video bye guys